And we stitch the cable stitch edging on these little circles or bubbles. Um, and we're going to add some knots today. So I've just pulled um, a colour out of my loose ends jar. As you can see, I've got quite a lot of this one. <laughs> um, that's where I put all the oddments of thread that are still usable. Um, I think it's 3839, um, just in case you're interested. I know I use that a lot, that's why I know the number. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one of these smaller bubbles and fill it with French knots, which I suggested last week, but I haven't got round to because um, everything with my studio has been taken over. More on that another time. Um, so I'm going to use this little section here to stitch the Danish knots. Now these Danish knots are like little triangles. They're really cute actually. Um, and it does need a little um, little practice, okay? So you're basically making this little triangle shape. So you can see that I've done a stitch, I've come up through the corner and my thread is pointing downwards. Just be careful not to catch any of your cable stitching as you're doing that. So I'm gonna have it pointing to the side again and I'm gonna go through. So I'm just threading um, my needle through that first stitch. You're not actually going through the fabric at that point. Have a look at the little tutorial um, the separate stitch tutorial if you want or just keep watching because I'm going to do another one in a minute. Um, you can use your needle just to kind of wiggle it about a bit and check that you're happy with positioning and then I just went back down where that stitch in the corner came out. So we just need um, to do that. You can tie up at the back if you want, I'm not going to bother this time. Um, time has been short this week, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, if you're using a dark thread on a lighter fabric you might want to tie off because you don't want to see the lines and um, it doesn't matter too much with this shade. I don't know what I was doing there, I was going to go back down the wrong place, I don't need to do that. So thread it through and you want to try and keep that um, nice triangular shape there. Make sure that your needle comes above the thread that's already come through, you don't want to go under it, you want your needle to go over that and um, so create that nice shape. Let's do another one here. And I'll try and talk you through it and oh no I'm not I was thought I was doing another one I've obviously changed my mind I'm going to tie off at this point there we go just to show you apologies for getting muddled up from when I filmed this yesterday okay so when you're tying your knots at the back you need to be really careful that you don't pull it too tightly okay because you will pull them out of shape on the front they're very easy to pull out of shape so you just need to be super super gentle with them um tie a knot at the back in the sort of the most careful way you ever have I think is probably the best way <laughs> to say to describe how I'm doing that there right let's do another one now now I've tied off so needle up through the fabric and you're going to do a stitch down the side of a triangle and then come up there for the other point of it. Right, so I've got my thread pointing downwards. I'm going to just thread through there over the top. And then you notice my needle's coming over that thread that's already been pulled through. That's really important. Okay, just keep that there. I'm not even sure if I said that in the other tutorial. I can't remember. And um, when I say this week has been manic, I can't really describe how manic it's been, but there we go. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you all about that when I share a bit more about my studio space but it's been a, a long time coming really. I've been waiting since November um, to get it all signed off and it's the 1st of April today so it's not an April Fool, it has actually happened. So anyway, I'm rambling about my studio. So I'm just doing these Danish knots kind of randomly um, at the moment. I might fill in a few gaps you can do them in different colours if you want to. Oops. Um, you can do them all the same colour here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do each knot in a different colour. Um, and I think for the moment I'm probably just going to fill this bubble, um, this circle, whatever shape that is. Probably a bubble shape, isn't it? Um, just fill this one. There will be scope to do another one at some point, but what I'm going to do is um, show you each of the knots and then um, I'll, I'm going to do mine at a later stage so that I can plan it a bit better. I think I want to see what it all looks like um, before I do that. 
So I've filled the rest of this space in with the Danish knots. Looks pretty cool, I like that. <laughs> um, I am going to try and do the French knots as soon as I can. I'm going to use that top little one, I think, to do that. Um, so at some point I'm going to try and fill those in. As I said, I'm going to use single colours in each of the bubbles, but you could mix it up, use as many different colours as you like. It's entirely up to you. There's the back. I ended up with a little bit of a messy loop. That doesn't matter at all. <laughs> 